Hey guys, and welcome back to Monka, where stupid shit ensues, but today I finished watching a season of a TV show, and so I decided that I was going to talk about it, because I kind of have some opinions about it, not really strong ones, but I still have opinions, I just kind of wanted to get out into a video, but the uh, season of anime that I finished watching was Sailor Moon are the uh, second season of Sailor Moon that precedes the first that aired in spring of 1992. Sailor Moon R aired in spring of 1993, so the year following the original Sailor Moon, and runs for about 43 episodes split into two story arcs, which is kind of interesting. The original run of Sailor Moon was just 46 episodes of one story arc, but this one's actually two. The uh, first story arc lasts for 13 episodes, and then the second one lasts for the final 30. But overall, my opinion on Sailor Moon R is that I enjoyed it enough. You know, it's actually a pretty good anime to watch. If you enjoyed the first season of Sailor Moon, you're going to enjoy the second season of Sailor Moon as well. Is it as good as the first season? Not really. I actually really liked the uh, first season quite a bit, despite the flaws that I had with it and the things I complained about. I still really liked it. Sailor Moon R is honestly just more Sailor Moon at the end of the day. It's just more of like, if you enjoyed Sailor Moon, then you're going to enjoy Sailor Moon R. Just Despite that the story isn't as strong, and I also noticed that there's a lot more filler in Sailor Moon R, specifically in the second story arc, but it still is overall a very solid anime that I would recommend. If you liked Sailor Moon, then you're going to like Sailor Moon R as well. It's just as enjoyable. A bit more slow paced though, I would say, but like I mentioned before, Sailor Moon R is 43 episodes, pointing at three episodes short of what the original Sailor Moon was. Starting off with animation, the animation doesn't look any different than it did from Sailor Moon, probably because it's only a year later, so it had no real time to like actually like upgrade, upgrade. So the animation looks pretty much the same as it did in Sailor Moon. It's not any better, it's not any worse, really. They still reuse a a lot of uh, animations it feels like for attacks and shit and transformations so that complaint that I had with the original run of Sailor Moon still applies here because it still feels kind of the same with all the animation being reused other than that it still looks great it does look dated but like I said it's like a 30 year old anime at this point so that's kind of to be expected but yeah the only real complaint I have with animation is the fact that they like to use a lot of animations over and over for attacks and animations other than that it looks fine you just gotta like a uh, more dated look but that's what you're getting into and you probably already know that if not just watch Sailor Moon Crystal because that's the more recent Sailor Moon but in terms of the music the music is another thing where it's it's a lot of the same to be honest. They do have some new tracks in this one, don't get me wrong, but there are some reuse of tracks in Sailor Moon R from Sailor Moon. That is kind of disappointing because I kind of wanted a fresh new soundtrack. Unfortunately, that's not 100% what you get. You get some reuse of songs and sounds as well, which isn't a bad thing because like I said in the previous installment when I was talking about the original run of Sailor Moon, the soundtrack has a lot of soul to it and a lot of like Zed of like fucking flair of like instrumentals and kind of jazzy mixed into it and really good vocals so i already really like the sailor moon soundtrack anyways what new songs they do introduce are pretty good they don't top the original sailor moon soundtrack by far to be honest because they introduce new attack songs and as well new transformation songs which are really good but they don't top the original that being said that's just kind of a gripe of being like it is a follow-up to the original sailor moon so it has to do a lot of legwork on Honestly, to try to match it and obviously it doesn't unfortunately but it's still good like it's not horrific it's still a good soundtrack in terms of voice acting it's also a lot of the same all of the sailor guardians take up their roles again pretty much every reoccurring character that was in the original run of sailor moon gets their voice actors back and they all sound as good as they did in the original run of sailor moon my complaints as they were in the original run of sailor moon are really more involved of usagi's character her voice actor is good it's just the character can be annoying at points and that just kind of bleeds into the voice acting as well unfortunately with their lines but other than that it's fine there's a character that they introduce into the second arc that kind of is like an annoying kid character that plays a pretty prominent role in those 30 episodes and that character's voice actor can also kind of be annoying but that's also tied to the character and is no fault of the voice actor every voice actor in Sailor Moon R does their part and I can't really complain about them but overall 
for sound design. The soundtrack is still as good as it was in Sailor Moon, maybe a little bit under what Sailor Moon was, and the voice actors are also as good as they were in Sailor Moon as well. Now in terms of the bread and butter of Sailor Moon R, which is the story, the story is broken up into two story arcs, one lasting for the first 13 episodes, the other one lasting for the last 30. I'll talk about both of them separately. I thought that the first 13 episodes for the first story arc were actually pretty strong, very reminiscent of the original run of Sailor Moon, and I really enjoyed it. There was no real filler to the story, it just really got to the point and just got to the meat and potatoes of like the conflict and everything, and just happened really quick as well. It felt good. The pacing of the first story arc feels good because there's just no filler. It just moves and moves and moves and you just get to the fights, you get to the main story. It's a really well done arc Honestly, it's actually pretty much the best part of Sailor Moon R are the first 13 episodes just because of how well done it is. There's no filler. The pacing is like perfect. It just moves, gets to the point. Everything happens in like a really quick progression over 13 episodes. It's just a really good story arc. So in the first 13 episodes, I enjoyed quite a bit. Now the second story arc lasting for 30 episodes has a lot more filler. It tries to have that filler be like character building kind of, but honestly this was the arc that I was paying a lot less attention to just because it was a lot less enjoyable to be honest. There was just more filler. Obviously it's 30 episodes so maybe that's to be expected, but there was just a lot of filler in the second story arc to where my attention would sometimes just kind of wander off of it and I would just kind of you know browse my phone or whatever. They do introduce a new character and they do have more depth to the story in the second story arc as in they introduce new concepts that make it more deep than what the first story arc was that can kind of be a complaint to be honest because it's like that kind of takes away kind of just the simple enjoyability of sailor moon they introduce kind of complex story ideas it still is nonetheless enjoyable it's just the story is kind of harder to follow and as well it's just got a lot more filler not horrific to be honest but it's still an enjoyable story arc like don't get me wrong it's absolutely enjoyable i would say more the first half it's more enjoyable the second half kind of starts to drag I didn't really like it to be honest so the first half of the 30 episodes like the first 15 maybe are enjoyable enough but when you get to the second half that's kind of when it starts to drag and kind of when I started to enjoy it less it's nonetheless a good story arc but I just feel like it kind of loses pace about halfway through the first half like I said it's great I like the first 15 episodes of the second story arc, but it starts to drag within the last half, which should have been the better half, to be honest, because that's where things should theoretically get more interesting, but they really don't, and it just kind of starts to drag on. Overall, I really enjoyed the first story arc, the first 13 episodes. I felt like it was just traditional Sailor Moon, and so I enjoyed it. The second story arc, the first half of it is pretty good otherwise in the last half or it should have been interesting it kind of started to drag a little bit to be honest overall it's a direct follow-up to sailor moon so if you've never seen the original sailor moon you'll kind of be lost going into sailor moon r but if you did like sailor moon honestly sailor moon r is just more sailor moon and it's enjoyable enough just know that within like the last 15 episodes it starts to drag and interest kind of starts to wane to be honest your mileage may vary to be honest but in my experience i just was not really into the second half of the second story arc but other than that it's a really good solid sailor moon installment honestly we'll see how super is or sailor moon s is i'm currently watching that right now but i enjoyed sailor moon r enough with the direction i've been watching sailor moon s i think it may or may not paint out better it was enjoyable enough i'd recommend it if you like the original season of sailor moon just know that during the maybe like the last third of sailor moon r it does slow down quite a bit it starts to drag to be honest but thank you very much for watching Watching. Until next time, I'll see you. Stay chill.